WRTR Real Talk Radio Featured guest DJs Original shows The hottest DJs from around the world Shout outs to the Netherlands, Philippines, United Kingdom And now Germany rocking with us here on WRTR Real Talk Radio Welcoming you all to a new week How we feeling, Miss? How we feeling, feeling Tigger Man? right It feels a little choppy in here, though <laughs> Really? Mm. Yeah <laughs> So we might have to run no. this back. <laughs> it was chopping. Because I let her talking? was fliddly, 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 fliddly. <laughs> mm, My bad, my bad, my bad. It's having connection issues. Oh, but we good, God. we good. <laughs> the week of Friday the 13th, man. I swear. Yes. It's always some crazy shit that happens on that week. Woo. Yep. Oh, how we feeling? What's the mood? I am chilling. As usual, mm. just trying to get through the rest of the week. It's Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. <laughs> like I said, it's only Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And slowly but surely, here Ratchet we go. and surviving. Good times. Yes, 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 mm. yes, yes. So, Miss Lyric, for kicks off, let me tell you about what your boy Ticket Man tried to do uh, this weekend. So, we met up for a lunch, right? Mm-hmm. On Sunday. So, I get there sitting down. He gonna hit me with the. So what did you learn, Black today? Uh huh. Thinking that he was uh, thinking that he was gonna catch me off my game, right? Nah, your boy was prepared. I had his ass right there. I had some. Yes. So, I'm I gonna can. ask you this week, Tigger Man. What did you learn, Black, this week? And well, don't hurt yourself. Learned that California just created an alert, called, an Amber Alert called the Ebony Alert. Now this ebony this ebony alert is supposed to alert us when black children and young women go missing. Okay. And it's basically supposed to well, it's supposed to go into effect January first. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it remi- it's supposed to allow the Cal this just for California. <laughs> It's supposed to allow um, California Highway Patrol to activate the alert upon request from local law enforcement when a black youth goes missing in the area. Mm -hmm. The Ebony Alert will utilize electronic highway signs and encourage use of radio, TV, social media, and other systems to spread information about the missing person alert. The Ebony Alert will be used for missing black people ages 12 to 25. So we getting segregated alerts. Oh, that is exactly (laughs) how I feel about it. Because I feel like if a white person looked down at their phone and saw something scroll across like Ebony Alert, most of the white people would be like, oh, fuck this shit. That's a nigga. Like, at least with the Amber Alerts, you had to actually look down and see who's missing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if I... I don't like it. But the Ebony Alert... I don't like it. No, 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 no. That's just another thing that's going to get ignored. And black people are one of the most missing persons a year. That's true. So I don't want to hear it. Well, all right, then. (laughs) Miss Lyric, what did you learn black this week? Well, it's not really a happy story because the guy died. However... One of the last three remaining survivors of the Tulsa race massacre yes, 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 passed yes. away at the age of 102. I so, although that. it might be sad for his family that he passed away 102 to have lived all of those years and had all of those life's experiences is a wonderful thing because everybody can't say that they made it to 100. <laughs> And two. Yes. Some yes. people can't say they made it to 22. So exactly. Blessings to him mm-hmm. and his family member. Mm-hmm. This is 2023. People ain't making mm-hmm. it to 12 anymore. Ugh. Right. And what have uh, you learned, Black, today? Well, I learned that this day on in black in black history. So this podcast is recorded October 10th. So I learned that this day in black history. General Hazel Johnson Brown was born. Now, she is the United States' first African-American female general, first African-American chief of the Army, nurse corps, and director of the Walter Reed Army Institute of Nursing. And she was born on October 10th, 1927, in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Mm. How dope is that? 
very All extraordinary. Right. So let's kick this show on off. I thought about right. something. So I thought about saying things that made me uncomfortable, or saying things that make us uncomfortable. What made y'all uncomfortable this week? Everything. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> No, I'm dead ass. Like, what made you uncomfortable? Um, well, nothing mm. really made me uncomfortable. This, um, it's because you be hot. I know. Yeah, nothing made me uncomfortable. That's because you be smoking. I hear echo. Mm. Yeah, I do hear a little bit of an echo, but it's all good. Um, hmm. Let's see. What I know. This? What? What you got? Um, I don't know if I'm hearing it correctly but what something that makes me uncomfortable that I can say out loud today is um I am uncomfortable with sometimes I feel like I need to do everything mm -hmm. and when I when things don't go a certain way that I'm used to I feel a certain way about it Mm -hmm. And I get extremely hard on myself about certain things. Uh -oh. So that's something that I dealt with this week. Very That, that shit made me very uncomfortable. Oh. Well, like I said, I want to bring this. I want to do this every week. Just saying something that made you uncomfortable. That way it gets it off your chest. Kind of makes you feel good. Um, things that made me uncomfortable this week. People touching me. So I have this new coworker. <laughs> People touching you? Yeah, oh, like... <laughs> Okay, so I don't mean I don't mean touching my no-no places ass hat. Mm, okay. I'm talking about I'm talking okay. about <laughs> I'm talking about people touch so I have this new coworker, right? And he's an older guy. And <laughs> are you still falling out later? Really? So <laughs> I, I can't even look at you. Go ahead. So I have this new coworker, right? He's an older guy. And he's one of those like old kind of doofy, you know, older guys. But he has like, okay, so the first thing, he has like this really high butt in the back. Like you one know, of those people, you know, that wears like you one know of those what? old guys that wears khakis. And then they want to wear the khakis like all the way up to like their neck. And I don't really understand. <laughs> like, it just, what? that makes me uncomfortable in and of itself. But then he's one of those people <laughs> that when you talk to, what? when you go over to talk to him, he always got to touch you. Like, he got to reach out. Hey, oh, hey, how's it going? And he got to put the hand on your back. I don't like that. Don't touch me. You can have a whole entire conversation with me and nothing is exchanged but words. You don't have to touch me. It's a new <laughs> thing that... All the cool kids are talking about it. So that's right. That made me uncomfortable. Um when I was meeting you for lunch, Tigger Man, the lift <laughs> the lift driver well, made me of extremely all, uncomfortable. Lunch. First of all, it wasn't lunch. You, what made what which, what made you uncomfortable? The lift driver. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Cause um I took a lift there because I didn't know what we were gonna want. But and plus so. I had just had an edible. Anyway, um <clears throat> Yo. <laughs> go ahead. No, what you we'll got to say? That, we'll get to that. Like, no, we'll get that to the to that later. Anyways, we'll that, anyways. So it was twice that we were in the lift that we almost got <laughs> t-boned, and I'm 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 wondering. Okay, so what uh, uh, these rideshare apps and stuff? Like, I'm just wondering what kind of things do they put you through? Like, do you have to maintain a certain kind of driving record, or is it one of those things of Oh, well, if you got a clean car, then holler at us. Yes. Oh, you know, God. I used to do Uber. Mm, yeah. You have to have insurance for your car, and you have to, you don't even have to own your car because nowadays mm -hmm. they have it so where right. they'll they have lease a car cars. for you to drive. Yep. Mm -hmm. wow. You just have to have a valid driver's license and insurance. Wow. There's no other criteria. They don't even do that. And, and a good driving facts, record. Which they need to do. They don't, don't do what? They don't do background checks. Oh, yes, they do. No, they don't. I was, uh, listen, I was about to sign up just to do Uber Eats. And it said that they, they wanted my information to do a background check. Bye. They don't That's do no background checks. <laughs> <laughs> They've heard they about it. If work. they don't background check the people who's riding with you, what makes you think they do it for the drivers? Mm. Think about it. 
Mm-hmm. They might say uh-huh. that all day. They not doing no background checks. Yeah, because right. I read, I, I looked up on it too. They would use a third party, such and such and such and such. They must so- lie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about <laughs> Listen, because how come all these riders is getting sexually uh, molested and raped and stuff like that if they're oh, doing true. all these damn background checks? Think about mm-hmm. it. That is yeah. true, because some sexual yeah. assaults do be popping up from Uber drivers. <laughs> they got Lyft drivers. Have advertisements on Facebook for that mess. <laughs> they do. Uh, that is Did your Lyft driver touch your no-no places? <laughs> you know what? Huh. Okay, last thing that made me uncomfortable. Well, not last thing, but another notable thing. Sexy Red made me uncomfortable this week. Oh my Yo, god! Oh, and I got some, I got some stuff on her. Too. I'm sure you do on your tea, but the reason that she made me uncomfortable is not because of that sex tape that everybody's talking about. The thing that made me uncomfortable. Did y'all see what she said about Donald Trump? Oh, she's oh she's a porter. She, she, she's a, she's a, she's a, oh, she's a porter. She said she said I like Trump. Let me give you the quote. She said. And I'm going to say it. See, at first I was going to play the audio, but I figured this would be so much more fun if I just read it. So here we go. (laughs) He says, here we go. Yeah. They support him in the hood. At first, I didn't think people was fucking with him. They (laughs) thought he was racist, saying little shit against women. But once he started getting black people out of jail and giving people that free money, oh, baby, we love Trump. We need him back in office. We need him because, (laughs) baby, them checks, them stimulus checks, Trump, we miss you. She said all of this shit. (laughs) I can't stand yes, you. Yes, she did. She Sexy did. Red is now on podcast. my same list along with Jess Hilarious. She is. Mm-hmm. She right there next to her. Because really, bitch, we need people in office like Trump. Trump, the same Trump that has four indictments, the same Trump that has 91 separate counts. Like, girl. And then you talking about, oh, well, mm, yeah, we need a nigga like that because he was freeing niggas and all that. Didn't he free some people? <laughs> I can't. Oh, you free like a rapist freed other rapists, and we're good with that. She good with it. Really, sexy red. That's what we doing. Mm, and then Trump did this whole hood boogers for business, uh, for hood boogers for bigots campaigns and shit. Uh, I just I don't like sexy red right now. I just, that's that's I dirty it. red. Okay. Mm. So we'll get more into her later, but no, anyway, we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna get into her like other people were. But Woo. okay, there you go. Clarify. Ah! (laughs) Anyways. Yep. Lyrics lessons. Up next. We'll be right back. When it comes to homophobic straight men, how come logic never meets the reasoning? Because you'll go somewhere in public with your friends or whatever, you know, in a group setting as you do. And then somebody will come out of nowhere and just say some shit like, man, there's too many gay dudes, man. There's mad gay dudes in here. First of all, how'd you notice that? How did you even notice that? We're at a we're at a circus, sir. There's people in here swallowing fire. You notice the gay dudes? We're at the beach, sir. There's literally women walking around in what's equivalent to brawn panties, and you notice the gay guys. But I digress, though. But the idea that it pisses you off that there are too many gay men in the same proximity as you is kind of weird because wouldn't that mean more women for us? More, more, more women for the straight guys, right? Hmm. Seems like you could appreciate the fact that there are some men here that like men because that just would leave more women for you. Unless you really wasn't here for the women and you mad at the men that came that like men because they about to get the men that you really wanted to. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. (laughs) I'm just saying the logic never meets the reasoning. One of my other pet peeves with that shit is when a dude is talking and he says no homo or pause. Come out of nowhere and say it with anything. Yo, that shit was hard. No homo. Pause. Why, Why did your mind go there? I knew what the fuck you meant. That just makes you look more gay. You said something under context that wasn't gay, thought about it being gay, tried to jump the gun by saying pause or no homo to convince me you weren't gay for saying it. That just makes you look more gay. (laughs) Yo, I was talking about your shoes. Your shoes is hard. 
Yo, your shoes was hard. I wasn't thinking about, I, yo, no homo. I was not thinking about that. Something else being hard. I was talking about your shoes was hard. I swear to God. Please believe me. But then we'll get mad at you for some shit you doing for not saying pause or no homo for how they feel about some shit. Yo, you just gonna eat that banana like that? You ain't gonna say pause? And nigga, I, I'm thinking about potassium. You the one with penis on the brain. Pull up a seat. Lyrics, lyrics lesson on WRGI Real Talk Radio at Lyric Bravado on Twitter. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Lyric Bravado, and I'm back with another session of lyrics lessons where I get into it with you guys over relationships, situationships, and friendships and everything in between. Get my two cents about it. You guys send me your advice questions at my Gmail at livebravado dot uh, gmail dot com and my Facebook and Instagram and my DMs. Now I do have two, but because time permits us to do as less as possible today because we went overboard last week because y'all was writing up a storm. I'm just going to do one ah. and it's extremely <laughs> long so y'all can have been with me but it is very interesting. So this one is anonymous mm-hmm. and it reads Dear Lyric I'm writing in reference to my recent engagement. I was alone for a long time. I mean a really long time. <laughs> I mean, a really long time, and I met a woman at work and fell deeply in love with her. Oh, Two nights yeah. a week. <laughs> Two nights a week. She comes over to my place for dinner, and we are intimate. Then she leaves promptly at 10 p.m. Promptly. Okay. Oh. Two months oh. ago, I Good not 59, me. your Uber is outside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, with a clean car and clean oh, record, bitch. No, I asked her to marry me two months ago, and she said yes. But our situation is very different. She lives with the guy she has been with for fifteen years. Bye. Bye. She has what? two kids with him. They are not married, and she told me there are no feelings there or intimacy between them. They just live with each other. Cousin but I'm Katie. puzzled by all of this. Because I asked how many rooms they, there are in the house, and she said there's only two. So I'm wondering where she sleeps. I nourished up the courage to ask her, and she said she still sleeps in the bed with him, but they do not have sex. You know I what? haven't even met her kids, <laughs> and my place what? is too small to have them. So when she comes to my place, we are intimate, and then she goes home, and I have a hard time of dealing with that. I try not to think about it, but sometimes it gets the best of me. What do you think I should do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I am confused. Dump her. What? I'm confused. What? First of all, sir, she has a curfew. Uh, she leaves your house at 10 o'clock because if she ain't in at a certain time at night, questions will be asked. Let's start with that. Two (laughs) months is not enough time for you to fully get to know someone to be that committed into wanting to have a marriage with them. Sometimes that happens, but it's once in a blue moon. I tell everybody this. That's not even a 90-day rule. Two months. That's 60 days. How can you fully know that you're that much in love with someone Mm -hmm. in 60 days? That you are well fully committed to spending the rest of your life Exactly. Okay. Two months. Sir, I think that what happened is you really want to be in love and you're basically taking upon anyone who will give you the time of day. She decided to give you the time of day. You invested all of your time into her. You you were intimate with her very quickly, might I add. And now you feel as though you're in love. No, sir, this is not love. This is only lust. She definitely has a relationship with her baby father. That, and shout out to her. That is that that's a real nigga move right there. <laughs> that's like when you live with your baby mama and stuff. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, oh, we, ain't oh, oh, oh. We, we, we just sleep. live together. No, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. Oh, they just they're live sleeping together. together. For- Especially here's the thing. Can you call her after 10 o'clock when to check on her when she goes home? Can you, right. can you get on the phone? Can you talk to her anytime that you want to outside of work? If your answer is no, sir. Something ain't right. Sir. Mm. Something ain't right. Something is going on. 
I can't even say the there hasn't even been instances where people have had to live together. You know what I'm saying? Because it is hard out here. But trust and believe, if she has the, if she's leaving promptly at 10 o'clock every time she comes to your house yep. after your intimate and leaving immediately, you never hear from her again, guess what? Mm. That's a curfew, sir. Mm. She's she's still fucking on that baby father. Mm-hmm. And he get and off his job. Like he's crazy. And, yeah, he get so off his very, nighttime job very, at a certain very. hour and she knows she got to be home in the house. So I really hope that you didn't go and purchase the ring and gave her that that said ring because babes, get your ring back. Move mm. on with your life. Mm. Find somebody who is not in a already fully long drawn out committed relationship and gets with someone who is single and ready to mingle because this person is definitely not. Yeah, that's crazy. That is that's crazy. <laughs> 15 years. I ain't yeah, in she's, the world. she's staying on. She's going to stick beside him. Mm-hmm. She's going to stick beside him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got one. Y'all ready? Oh, matter of fact, no, nah, I do my last. Go ahead, Mar. Um, okay, I got two juicy ones. I'm trying to decide between the two. Um, do we want the one from hmm do we want the one from Brina or do we want the one from Key I don't know <laughs> go, both of them sell let's go ghetto. for Key both of them sell ghetto alright <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> what he ain't, oh, he ain't got no home training alright <laughs> this one says Dear Lyric my <laughs> Exactly. See? Did I just make a mistake by choosing? <laughs> no, him? I'm just laughing. I'm laughing because he said it's ghetto. Well, oh. anyways, dear lyric, <laughs> my name is Keith. My man and I have been together now for about a year and a half. Without getting too much into it, let's just say we have an amazing relationship. We love together, laugh together, and talk about our plans and ambitions regularly. The issue is that my friends don't fuck with him, and I ne- and never really did. My best friend knows him from high school and has told me time and time again about how horrible he was to the girls he messed with. She's even made reference to how she's heard that he dated a transgender person before. When I asked him about it, at (laughs) first he denied it, but for months I kept hinting that I knew, and finally he told me that he dated a trans woman for a few weeks, but it never went anywhere. I'm not homophobic at all, literally have a group of gay friends, both men and women, but I'd be lying if I said this new information didn't make me worry. He assures me that he isn't gay, but bruh, you dated a whole ass transgender person. I'm a bad bitch, but I don't have a dick. I don't think I'm wrong (laughs) the way I feel, but I want to make sure I'm not being crazy. This whole situation has turned my relationship into the group chat joke. And I'm on the verge of ending it and getting myself a real man. What is your opinion? Uh, my uh, friends my friends and I listen to the show, so they're going to know it's me writing in. Laugh out loud. Sign Keith. Oh. First of all, mm. you <laughs> he could have kept that information. <laughs> right. right. You, you he could have kept that right. information from you. And to, be, to be completely honest, it's literally his word against whoever told you this information. But for him to be you know, comfortable enough to say that, yeah, that happened. It doesn't even sound like anything sexual happened, to be honest with you. It sounds like, you know what I'm saying, he went on a date. He might not have even known it was a transgender and might have found out. And maybe that's why it lasted a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, does he give you any indication that he's in the LGBT lifestyle, that he might be, you know, attracted to transgender women i mean a lot of things factor into this you know what i'm saying so i don't think it's a thing where you need to be like oh well fuck this nigga because he did this and you know first of all why are you listening to your friends Mm. you know what i'm saying about high school stuff are we grown Mm. and can people grow from high school because i know i'm not the same person that i was at 16 17 years old I don't Ooh. talk the same. I don't act the same. I don't live my life the same that I that I would. People can grow. People can change. So I don't think it should be a thing unless he's like out or cheating on you or doing foul things. I don't think it should be a thing where your friends are just having all of this say so over your relationship. At the end of the day, it's about you and that man. And if you're and if he makes you happy, then that's what should be the bottom line. That's what matters the most. 
does he make you happy? Does he treat you right? It doesn't, it, it sounds as though you are happy in this relationship, but because you're the butt of the joke in the group chat, then all of a sudden now it's a problem. Right. So I, I think that's a conversation that you just need to have with your mate. Let him know how you, let him know how you feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And then move on from it because you sitting here harping on something that he ain't even thinking about. Everybody else brought it up. He don't even care about it. And right. And he need to pass in the past. Yeah. Did she say um, how long she been dating him? She said they've been together for a year and a half. Are you? Oh, no, that's almost two know, years. Exactly. You worried about something. Are you serious? Exactly. Exactly. Well, there's a couple of things, Key. Um, I was going to leave this alone and let Miss Lyric do it, but she, uh, I know she danced around it, but she didn't hit it like I wanted you to hear it. So, I meant, okay. The fact that he told you anything, like she said, is a good thing, but <clears throat> you immediately went to, he won a nigga. That's where you went. You didn't go into, oh, this is something I didn't know that you didn't go into anything. This letter, like the way it read to me, it gave me a sense of how y'all all feel. And it's like, oh, well, a man can't be bisexual. Women get the fluidity to go and munch box at liberty and nobody pretty much cares. When it's men, everybody goes immediately to, oh, well, you're gay. And just for the record, transgender women are women. They're, they present themselves. They live their lives as women. <coughs> Hello. So it's not a thing of where you are sitting there or he's desiring a dick. Girl, he been with you two and a half. I'm sorry, a year and a half or whatever. So who does he want? seems like it would be you both no i mean <laughs> can, I, come, come on you be talk, come on don't be no, messy no, with just, yeah <laughs> yeah because she needs to hear this because no, at the end of the day and then she and then she hit and then she hit us with the then she hit us with the uh oh i got black friends kind of thing oh i got gay friends i'm not homophobic i got gay friends girl not not being homophobic or uh, having gay friends that make you homophobic or make you not homophobic this that's letter like, reads exactly like you're homophobic you are speaking like, like having, somebody is homophobic. that's just like you having black kids but you're not racist mm -hmm. exactly mm. <laughs> oh, <not> racist. <laughs> Hi, black friends <laughs> <laughs> like what y'all get mad when we call y'all uh, oh, the white <laughs> people are niggas wow okay so, uh, all right. not, got, um, it okay. just yeah Okay, so mine is from LaShawn. Okay. Okay. Mm, that's not that old shit. It do. That's <laughs> that, ain't that the one of the but girls from the Bay Bay's Club? Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. Bay Bay's yeah. Kids. I mean, yes, that joke was the name from the Bay Bay's Kids. Yeah. That was her name, LaShawn. Yeah. Okay, she says, Dear Lyric, one of my family members is a loner. I'm the closest relative to them. They invite my children and me over for holiday dinners, but the house is dirty with roaches galore. Uh oh. <laughs> so why do you go over there? Come on. <laughs> the bugs even crawl on you during the day on the couch. I oh. Hate that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't I don't want to go there for this reason. I am also cautious about inviting them to visit here because I once asked them to house it for me for four days and I came home to roaches in my house. Oh my God. <laughs> How do I break it to them gently that the, that the sanitary conditions are troubling and I don't want to be in their home nor have them in mine. That's not <laughs> nothing that you can break lightly. You tell them like it ain't. Well, what, why are we shipping <laughs> things? In 2023 nowadays, see that's the problem. Oh. We can start with hurting feelings and, and, and all of that stuff. No, some things you can say out front. You got roaches, bitch. I'm not bringing my kids over there. I'm not eating from your house because you have critters crawling on the wall trying to get in my purse. I can't even, you know, put my take my shoes off without worrying about a pregnant girl and coming to my house. No, we gotta start Lord. saying stuff like that. Like, no. And you know what? It don't necessarily mean all the time not 
Well, not your cousin, because you said the conditions was nasty. <laughs> but it just Lord. depends, like, you know what I'm saying? Some people <laughs> live in an apartment complex and the whole building got roaches. Now, if it's one of those <laughs> things, I can understand. But if you living in a single family house, it's you, it's you. You are the problem. Hey. You have the issue. You <laughs> need to find the nearest uh, exterminator. Bring them in that hose. <laughs> Break that thing down. Burn whatever you need to burn and get them bugs out of there. And then after you do that, then call Molly the maid and get the maid service in there and clean that hoe up. But, but why is it so egregious? Why are the roaches so aggressive? You said they was flying on you. Because, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? I uh -oh. wish you would argue with uh -oh. me after a roach has assaulted my person. I wish you would. Yes. Crazy. That is crazy. And you know it's bad when you see them albino ones. That's the albino ones. Not the albino ones. Oh, no. Oh, Miss Lyric, turn your mic up because I can't really hear you. I can't uh, turn nothing up. It's oh, just I mean, high no, as it goes. You no, good. We good. We can handle Oh man, um, that was hilarious. That's, mm -mm, mm -mm, that you don't, you don't, uh -uh. you don't shoot coat that. You say that out right. Oh, like, look, look, no. look, look at here. We ain't coming over. Mm -hmm. I'm not bringing my kids, and you can't come over my house, Hattie. Mm -hmm. Oh no, 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 no. You wow. can't come over here. Them roaches seem aggressive too. Wow. They pulling up in Hellcats next to you. Okay. Oh, all right. A whole mess. So you say you only wanted to do three. So there you go. I guess I'll save uh, Bree, uh, what is this, Brina's letter for next week. Is it long? It's not long. Go it's ahead. Messy, go ahead. Let's see if I can help Miss Bree Bree real quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is messy. Uh, dear Lyric, my best friend and I have been friends for well over 25 years. We have shared everything with one another except one big secret. Since I was 17, I've been sleeping with her father on and off. I'm hanging out. <laughs> I've, been, <laughs> I've been familiar with the family, and they were always a part of my life and upbringing. And I was the ugly girl in school. Uh, I'm sorry, I was the ugly fat girl in school, and he never really made me feel that way, and it was something I needed at the time. As I got older, it just became, uh, it just became about the dick coming and going. Besides, grown people do grown things. Twice now, she popped up at his home and saw my car there. The first time, it was easy to say that I was in the area and decided to say hello. But this time, I canceled plans on going out with her, knowing she and the girls will be out. But when I canceled, but when I canceled, she decided not to go. I'm sorry, she decided not to go out and also, and saw me at her dad's house. <clears throat> well, it's caused drama. And she hasn't spoken to me for three weeks now. I've tried to call to explain, but she isn't having it. She demands to know what's going on. Her father is stern about not wanting me to tell her, but I truly miss my friend and want to come clean. I truly want the cat out of the bag, but want to make sure I don't lose my friendship. What advice can you offer? Lots of love for you all, Brina. Well, Brina, let me tell you something. You were groomed. You were groomed. The father is a pedophile. Mm. He's been fucking you underage since you were 17 years old. He should be mm. underneath the jail. Let's start there. That's the mm. most serious thing. Because at this point, it's not even about you fucking the father. It's about the father taking advantage of a 17-year-old girl because of her insecurities. Mm -hmm. So let's start there. He's a pedophile. Mm. He's a pedophile. He you groomed are a you. victim of sexual assault. He groomed you while you were 17 and let you and, and and let it be okay because you let it be okay because you were insecure about how you were looking and how you were feeling about yourself. So you thought that that was normal. No, baby girl, it's not normal. You need to break that mess off with the father. You need to seek some professional help because that is not okay. As far as the friend, unfortunately, um. I don't think that you'll be able to mend this overnight. Um, if you feel like you want to come clean, yeah. But she's going to look at you totally different. Totally different regardless. Regardless. You had a sexual relationship with 
her, her dad, father. yo. That's her dad. Somebody That's who crazy. raised her. You know what I'm saying? Her best friend? No. Who she tells all her secrets to. And when mm. she's mad at her dad. You know how we, we, we were when we were kids. Yeah. We call our best friend if our parents and pissed us, pissed us off. Yep. And you slept with, you broke her trust. Getting it you can never get that back. Never. Never. <sighs> so, my advice to you, break that off with the father immediately. Mm. Come clean to your friend and tell mm. her the truth. Because it's not going to help anybody or anything that comes from this situation by covering up with, with more lies. You're just mm. going to dig yourself a deeper and deeper and deeper hole. Mm. Tell the truth. Set yourself free. Seek some counseling because that's Emphasis. fucking crazy. Emphasis on the counseling because, ooh, that is something to go through. Wow. Okay, <sighs> dokie, bring us all. Oh, damn. Like, not, nothing left. That's um, all bold mouth. That's wild. Like, I, it is rare that, I'm, <laughs> that I am speechless over mm. the, some of the things that you guys write. But this one today, I don't know why that particular story just that's that that's crazy. I really hope that she's listening to this and really seeks that help because I have mm. But anyway, um there are other people out here who need my advice. So wrapping up, you guys can send me the advice questions that you may have for me at my Gmail link bravado. Also, DM me on my Instagram or my Facebook at Lyric Bravado as well. And I'll see you guys next week. Good grief. All righty. On this sick, sad, sad, sick, and cold, cold world, <laughs> Chicken Man has got all the tea. <laughs> it's Chicken Man. See you up next. For some reason, when a woman says that she does not want children, people's first instinct is to convince her to have them anyway. So I've compiled a list of the stupid shit that people say to women that do not desire motherhood. Number one is, you must be selfish. Now I'm not offended by this one because being selfish is not always a bad thing in my opinion. But it is bullshit because being a parent does not make you inherently less selfish. Y'all be at work expecting to get first dibs on vacations over your childless coworkers just because you have children. Selfish. Number two is, what about your legacy? Personally, what I care about leaving behind when I'm burning in hell like user Jesus underscore love said I'd be is an impact on my community, not a kid. And legacies are overrated anyway because what if despite all my hard work, my child ended up being Candace Owens? Three is children are a blessing. While I consider children to be one of the most beautiful parts of this shitty society, I need parents to realize that they are not blessings to everyone. The whole reason I don't want a kid is because the cons far outweigh the pros for me. Number four, who will take care of you when you're old? Some parents better hope their children decide to take care of them. Some of y'all are going to a nursing home with bed bugs. And isn't it a bit fucked up and selfish to frame your child's existence around what benefit they'll provide you in the future? Number five, just give it a try. This one is horrific and it's a true testament of how many people, even parents, do not see children as human beings. Kids are not some 30 day trial that you can quit if you don't like it and it is much better to regret not having a child than having one. I hate this one for far more reasons than I have time for. It's horrifically invalidating to non-cis women and even cis women that can't have children. And yes, I have certain reproductive organs, but it's also my choice whether I wanna use them. I wasn't created to do nothing but curse, yell, and eat coochie. And number seven is any reason because it is very unhinged to hear somebody clearly express that they don't want kids and to tell them to have them anyway. Why do y'all want kids to have unwilling parents? And ship on this key. Hey, 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 this your boy Tigger Man with the T. Now, I know when you all hear tea, all you think about is celebrity gossip. Well, my tea involves celebrity gossip, oh. world news, hmm. local news, and what might be going on in your bedroom. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. How about that? Yeah. And I actually got some, some gossip about what went on in your bedroom, Lyric. Oh. I no, heard- you don't. 
I bet you don't. I bet you don't. I bet you don't. Because, look, my bedroom's closed to all parties. I know that's right. I know that's right. But anyway, speaking of sexy red, Uh, everything brown. uh, Yo, the internet destroyed her. You know how she say pussy pink, booty hole brown? No, that's everything brown. Mm. <laughs> that's everything brown. Mm. Well, anyway, y'all know her little sex tape leaked. Now, okay, give me the realistic. <laughs> Did, now, because I've heard several different things. I've heard that she leaked it herself. And then I heard that somebody did it as some revenge porn. Like, what is it really? Because I need to be. Oh, you well, know, I think really, she I need to, I think she know. probably did it herself. I think she probably did it herself. Okay, I'm good. Then I'm channeling the right emotion. But, yeah, yeah, but it was just showing all her, all her, all her nasty stuff, all her dry nasty stuff. I don't oh. think she did. You don't think she I did? I think that boy with the uh, with the ankle bracelet did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You totally know how people be clout chasing nowadays. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, no you're reason. right, you're right. You know you're what right. I'm saying? You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. Or and I'm just that saying was she could have told home. him to, or she could have probably told him to leak that just to, you know, because she got, um, she, because you know she got, she got a lot of stuff supposed to be coming out now, supposedly. Like her whole, um, I think lipstick thing or whatever, and it's mm-hmm. named, it's named um, all the Ratchet Nancy names and stuff. No, she got that coming out. Oh but, wait, I gotta look up the names and see. Oh Keep yeah, it, it's off the hook. Mm. Off the hook. One is called um, mm. what sexy is, red discharge, lipstick discharge, name. Discharge something flavor. Discharge. Yes, yes, it's a whole bunch of stuff. What the hell? But anyway, but anyway, her and uh, Sukiana, they made made a, a a video called Hood Rats. I'm hanging <laughs> up. Mm. Listen, hold on now. And so this is sexy red and Sukiana are twerking in the faces of the critics in the aftermath um, of the hip hop 50 anniversary, dropping this delicious new um, video called Hood Rats. <laughs> it says that um, both Suki and Sexy Red um, put their acting chops on display throughout the mini film, inf- inf- infiltrating a very suburban country club before launching into a barrage of booty hole licking lyrics. What? So, what are booty hole are, licking lyrics? What lyrics have you lyrics. heard that went wow? That uh, there, the I want to go out and look a booty <laughs> hole. The pair was also apparently feeling patriotic while writing the song. Suki makes a play for the for President Biden with the line, "I swallow nut." I really feel like an elephant. Tell Joe Biden, I want to suck on the president. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh my god I just found all the different flavors yeah yeah <clears throat> go ahead and read them out coochie juice booty hole brown I'm hanging coochie, up coochie pink sex on my period gonorrhea there it go yeah, gonorrhea. yellow discharge there it go and nut nice. these are the names of the colors of her lipstick brand Yes. Would you put booty hole brown <laughs> on your lips? This is what I need to know. What about that gonorrhea? Girl, can I borrow your gonorrhea real quick? Right. My that, lips dry. Baby. Let me hold that discharge. What? <laughs> Bitch. I have a whole ass problem with that. Because why are we normalizing fuckery and foolishness? Yeah, like that's that? what I want to know. That's exactly yeah. what I want to know. It's, it's a hot mess. It's a whole hot mess. Bitch, your lips popping. Is that sex on my period? And you know, and you know when they when those when it's released, the hood rat. You know the hood rat girls gonna go. They gonna go get it. You already know that. I'm about to put this nut on my lips. Yeah. Really? Yep. Really, bitch. That's and you said. Listen, I'm really about to hang up for real. Because mm. I don't. Yep. Uh-uh. And you said yeah. released. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why Come she ain't on. named one herpes? Because I, I seen them bumps on she that she got on her lips too. Oh no. Huh? Oh, she got yeah. herpes bumps. What happened? Yes, the fuck she, she, she got do. some kind of bumps. She well, got, I mean, ain't she no got... some kind of bumps. What I tell you, we we gonna start calling stuff as it is. Call the spade a spade. That's herpes she got on her lips. Yes. Okay, so can we call it nasty when y'all got dudes out here spitting in your cooter? 
Like, it, it's been in any or Okay, I get oral sex, but well, this whole attraction to spit lately is too much on. for me. Speaking, speaking of, of speaking of, of spit, I was getting to that, but go ahead. Of spit, mm-hmm. Kevin Gates. Mm. <laughs> I'm hanging out. So he recently he just um, launched his whole um, only generals. Uh, yeah, the only the generals tour, and he spits down Gross. one of the fans' throat, and they swallow it. Bro, it says it says. Um, Kevin Gates kicked off his Only the Generals tour over the weekend in Portsmouth, Virginia, where he invited a fan on stage. Portsmouth. Sh- <laughs> yeah, yes, Portsmouth, exactly. Where he invited a fan on stage and she quickly gave verbal permission for him to do whatever he wants. He then escorted the fan to her to her folding chair throne and instructed her to stick out her tongue. Then he proceeded to drop a spit missile down her throat, immediately drawing moans and groans from the crowd. <laughs> and she mm. swallowed it. The rise and fall of the folding chair, where it was but once a black icon, said, now it's just, y'all done turned it ratchet. That's just nasty. <sighs> that is just nasty. I would never, ever, ever, ever. You wouldn't let your face I'll spit in your uh, mouth? Uh, no, 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 no. That's not happening. Why? I, That's not happening. Sexy for you. Shut up. Anyway, you know how many people that I saw that said they got turned on by that though. That, yeah. That's crazy. People have a weird just, fixation uh, with the spit. I don't understand. Like, okay, so when I read this headline, that was as far as I could go. They had the video attached, but I, I'm one of those people, I can't watch you spit. Like, if you're around me, you know, those people that always bad. hog spit or people that have, like, the smoker's cough and they got to spit. Even people with colds and they got to hot loogies. I cannot watch it happen, nor can I hear it. If I hear it or I watch it, it's going to like it's gonna make me up chuck right then and there. It's yeah, do not watch that video. I literally, oh, I don't even want. I don't. Oh, it is not I for me. literally almost do up for real. It is not for me. It's not cute. It's mm. not cute at all. Mm. Ain't nothing nasty. sexy about it. Ugh. That's nasty. Okay, so then we have up um, Justin Combs, P Diddy side. I don't know who, um, who she is. <laughs> I just said it's P. Diddy's son. Mm-hmm. One of P. Diddy's kids. You well, clearly missed what I was saying. <laughs> well, he just... Oh, I know which one that is. The, yeah. the light-skinned one. The light-skinned one. The light-skinned okay. one. Okay. Well, he just uh, avoided some jail time with a plea deal following a DUI arrest in June out in California. Mm. It says he reportedly taken a plea deal in connection to his DUI arrest which took place over the summer. Combs was arrested on the morning of June 4th in Los Angeles, California. Um, according to legal doctor, Combs has pled no contest to driving with a blood alcohol level of 0.8% or higher. Jesus. So now <laughs> they put him on, so yeah, they put him on a three year probation in which he has to, of course, do community service, Mm -hmm. take classes, counseling, Mm -hmm. and so on and so on. And if he does not and violates it, he's going to be doing some time. Obviously. He better get it together. Speaking of time. And then his mama, his mama blamed his father. Mm. (laughs) As she should. For the whole situation. She said that was mm. that he um, um I guess raised him on some bad parenting on his on his end. So But yeah. guess what though? She ain't lying because guess what? Mm. His daddy gonna be right along with him. Very <laughs> soon. Cause he was named in that mm-hmm. Tupac situation. Mm-hmm. I remember you was telling me about that. I uh, you things that. do not look well for that hero. Uh. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> okay. And next. Oh, cool. Um. Okay, computer. Okay, here we go. Bam. Okay, no, so no next wife, up, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's tripping, tripping, tripping. But anyway, oh. Um, so um Michael Jackson's um jacket that he wore in this uh Pepsi commercial 
back in 1984 is up for auction. Why? What's your, what do you mean, why? 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 What do you mean, why? Okay. Because, remember the last who, thing, who, who, the who, who, last who, 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 time. No, 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 no. Remember the last thing <laughs> that went up for auction, auction and mm. Kim Kardashian's daughter mm. got it? The, mm. the freaking hat. Come yep. on now. Yep. Put that stuff yep. in the museum and quit playing with people. Exactly. That's exactly. where it should be. Because this is this jacket, it's a black and white leather jacket. And this is the, the original jacket that he used in his first Pepsi's commercial back in 1984. Which should be in a museum. Yeah, that, should, that should be in a museum. But it's supposed to go up on auction for about, they said it's going to range from around $230,000 to $460,000. Yeah, some of this stuff is like really iconic and not for a whole bunch of Instagram likes for you to post pictures of you and your little ball-headed ass wig. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm over it. Mm. Yeah. But I saw that, I was like, oh, wow. But I was like, who wouldn't want a Michael Jackson jacket? Original. But, like I said, that should be in a museum. That really should be in a museum. Okay. And then we have the one and only Mary J. Blige. Oh, why is she in the news? Okay, she just created a $30,000 scholarship for sophomore women at Hampton University. Oh, all right. Mother Mary. Them, in order for them to um, enroll in it, they have to pop, lock, and drop. They have to be, they have to have no. a full time enrollment. <laughs> they have to have to have a minimum of a um, 2.5 a, a GPA. Oh, she's looking for dummy. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, how do you have Burger King? Right. She, uh, uh, basically, she went to Burger King. And exactly. exactly. And lettuce, <laughs> three cheeses, French dressing, wrapped up <laughs> in a tasty <laughs> cornbread <laughs> or flour tortilla. <laughs> That's a cornbread. Know. Well, may as well. Yeah. Oh, ghetto yeah. ass shit. Yeah. 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 And additionally, two point uh, five GPA. That's what she. That's what it said. Two point five GPA. <laughs> yeah. So it says, y'all are retarded. Scholar. Hold on. Did I miss the? Did I miss the Ooh. meaning of the word scholar? <laughs> 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 two point five. Jeez. Three point one. Really? Girl, you better, anyway, you better sell a burger or a Whopper or something. Woo. Anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> they have to be a sophomore. Okay, so it says uh, they have to be a sophomore, a full-time enrollment for the 2024-25 school year. <laughs> and like I said, a minimum of 2.5 GPA. Uh. Must be studying business administration, marketing, arts, finance, or creative design. Finance? What finances are you managing <laughs> with a 2.5 GPA? Bitch, you can't manage your own GPA. Oh! <laughs> what you not I manage? cannot. No, I cannot. baby. Mm. So anyone, so any female out there that's uh, attending or trying to attend Hampton University with a 2.5 <laughs> GPA. GPA. Aim for the no. star. You better, you better enroll. You better enroll. That's wild. Yes, it is I wild. Want it. <sighs> okay, so now. <laughs> want to do this? I don't know. Oh, okay, Drake. Drake. What did Aubrey do now? <laughs> so he plan. he's playing after this last album that he's releasing for for all the dogs he's planning on he's planning on shutting down the studio basically locking the door to the studio and won't be recording anymore for a while because he says he wants to attend to his health <laughs> he wants to t attend to his health because he's been having a lot of stomach issues uh. <laughs> <And so> <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry but the way you just said that it sounds uh, it sounds borrowed. That sounds like 
the episode off of Dave Chappelle where Dave he was playing Chappelle. Diddy as making a band, and he said, "I'm shutting <laughs> the studio." <laughs> <laughs> right, girl, we've yeah. seen this before, Aubrey. Sit down. Uh oh. He said, <laughs> basically, he basically said, I'm going to be honest. I got some other things I need to do for some other people that I made promises to, but I probably won't make music for a little bit. Then mm-hmm. he says, I've I need to focus on my health first and foremost. I've been having the craziest problems for years with my stomach. I need to focus on my health and I need to get it right. And I'm going to do that. Ooh. So this yeah. is his last album for a while. Meanwhile, he's on social media <laughs> and on other podcasts going back and forth with Joe Button now. <laughs> and then Joe Button is getting into it. And he, oh. he, he chewed into Joe Button because Joe Button told him this album that's coming out, he made it for the children. He made it for the children. Whatever that means. What does, I don't know what that means, but does that mean for the gays? I, I mean, don't, I don't, no, I don't know. But he said, no, he made it. He made a kitty childish sounding album. Basically, yeah, that's it's what for I the kids. Said. It's for the children. Exactly what he said. And I guess uh, it's Drake not for the have, grown man. Yeah, um, I guess who, Drake, who loves hip hop. Exactly, exactly. Who's I, turning I to Drake? Know. Who's turning to Drake for anything involving children? Mm. Who's doing that? If it ain't Degrassi, turn it off. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I guess but, he's talking about his content. You know, yeah, it's not it's not a lot of people's careers. So it's not grown he hasn't he hasn't evolved as a grown man in hip hop. He's right. He's basically catering to the up and coming kids that's doing TikTok videos and stuff like that. That's what he yeah. meant by that. Yeah, that's what kids. I'm so that's what he's taking about. a break so we forget that he young minded and then he come no, back on some it, no he said he gotta um attend to his health because oh, okay. he's been having stomach issues and stuff so he got well, you know what the nigga show back up talking about hey nephew i'm a, I'm but a he yeah he went one. off on he went off on joe button chewed in him it was a long paragraph he said he was just basically saying <laughs> that um joe button is a failure when it comes to music Mm-hmm. And, uh, he did say that, and, and he only makes his life living now doing his little podcast thing because he ain't got nothing else to do. He and did he say that. On all, of, he was going off on him. I said, "Wow." He did. He ran him for film. And then he, and then he, he said that the up, uh, up and coming um a rap, uh, the up and coming artists and the current artists. This this is what you call a failure. Look at this. This is what you call a failure. He was saying all this stuff. Wow. But wow. maybe that's why he has stomach problems because you're so combative with you people who about have an opinion and you so yeah. gung-ho about not understanding when somebody tells you no, like Halle Berry, maybe you wouldn't have these stomach issues. Mm. Exactly. That's crazy. Mm. That Just is crazy. Mm. Slime yeah. that out. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And I want to shout out, congratulations to um, um, Lala... Lala Milan. Y'all know who that is. Lala Milan. Yes. I saw one of the social media girls. The one that be with the, the TT dude. Mm-hmm. She, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She finally announced oh. her stuff. She's having a baby. Her stomach huge. She just announced that she's pregnant and showed that she looks she looks good though. She looks good pregnant. She's right. Pregnant, so I'm gonna say shout out to her. And last but not least, mm-hmm. um, and shout out to Simone Biles again. I said shout out to a few That's shows. A bad that. bitch, there. <laughs> she, <laughs> she has now earned. She has now earned all six around. Earned six all around titles and thirty seven gymnastic medals. Mm. Period. Period. Mm. Period. So I'm to shout out to her. And that wraps it up for this week's <laughs> segment with your boy Tigger Man. The tea. All righty. Up next, dead for that. Now, here is five things that you might not understand about my hometown, D.C., but bitch, it's normal to us. Now, number five, our OGs, they ain't starstruck. They don't give a fuck. Jay-Z could be walking down the street. You'd be like, man, look, that's Jay-Z. Man, fuck Jay-Z. He a bitch. What Beyonce at, though? That bitch got money. Put a nigga on. Now, they don't give a fuck about celebrities, but they respect the popular people in our hometown. They go, Sugar Bear, hey, Sugar, come on, get in our picture. Don't play with Sugar. Now, coming in at number four, 
There's a difference between our real brothers and sisters and our fake brothers and sisters. There's a code. Now, this is how you can tell if a motherfucker is a real sibling. Man, my stupid ass brother in the house. Man, my dumb ass sister, she played too motherfucking much. They related in real life by blood, okay? But if you hear a bitch say, brother, okay? Oh, yeah, man, that's sus. Yeah, they connected by skin. Bitch, okay? Keep your eye on the family tree, bitch, because something might be going on in them bushes, bitch. I'm just saying. Coming in at number three, if we don't know your name, we're going to give you one. Bob or Mo. I don't know who the fuck Bob or Mo is, but if we don't know your name, bitch, that's you. Hey, Mo. Yeah, you. Let me holler at you real quick. Oh, no, nah, you got me fucked up, Bob. Coming in at number two, bitch, okay? Yeah. The DC gays, the G in gays stands for gangsters, bitch, okay? They trapping. The tables have turned, bitch, okay? Yeah. They doing transactions and shit out of motels, bitch, okay? Hard drugs, driving in stolen cars, bitch. And when they say they gonna get you, bitch, they gonna get you, bitch. They coming with chains, bottles, bitch, brass knuckles, bitch, and vampire teeth. All with lipstick on their motherfucking lips, bitch, okay? And beating you like the Russian from Rocky, bitch, okay? Yeah. And just when you think it's one or two of them, bitch, they call the rest of them, bitch, okay? They be like, warriors, come out and play, and them motherfuckers start pulling up in Barbie doll big wheels and shit, pink tricycles and shit, bitch, okay? Coming off the buildings and shit with a Wonder Woman with the pink ranger suit on, bitch, ready to fuck you up. They different. And after they fuck you up, bitch, they celebrate. They be like, bitch, we fucked him up. Ow! And number one, the people here in D.C., they don't give a fuck. They spark up anywhere. Right on the church steps after the funeral, bitch. They just... This motherfucking grandma coming out of here, bitch, okay, with an oxygen chain on her motherfucking face, okay? She emotional and can't breathe. And all you can say, oh, my bad, ma. My bad. Bitch. Yeah, kids in school and shit. I can't wait for lunch. You be like, damn, what you got to eat? Nothing. We about to spark this J up. Eighth grade. We different here in D.C. But I love my city, bitch. I don't know how we survived the 90s, let alone breakfast. Remember Cookie Crisp? If you told somebody today that you fed your kids chocolate chip cookies for breakfast, they would call child services. To this day, I don't know what's in a Pop-Tart. I know one thing ain't Nan Strawberry in a strawberry Pop-Tart. For all we know, it could be strawberry scented candle wax, but it's delicious, so we eat it. Not Nan Fruit was in them loops, but we ate it like it was part of the food pyramid with a crazy ass mascot floating around seeing Fruit Loops everywhere high on acid. Talking about some follow me nose. I know a cokehead when I see one. Follow me nose. That is a cokehead battle cry. Tony the Tiger pushing steroids on kids. Everybody knows that the secret to becoming a world class athlete, frosting. Ain't no kid about to grow into a D1 player hopped up on frosted flakes. This nigga juicing. Shout out to everybody that thought Sunny D was orange juice growing up. That shit was neither orange nor juice. Lucky Charms. They took a box full of marshmallows, threw some kitty litter in it, and said it was a balanced breakfast. And we ate it. Damn, a rabbit's foot. You was lucky they ain't cut off your feet. We had a rabbit literally turning tricks for some damn series. What kind of message is that for kids? And if you don't recognize none of these characters, it's because you grew up with your mama buying the off-brand series that was on the bottom of the shelf in the plastic bag. No shame, but the message still applies. Dead for that. Time to find out what Marcus is dead for. So this week, I'm dead for three different things. First one being people tagging celebrities in conversations. Okay? Like <laughs> on, online conversations. That gets on my nerves, too. I posted this uh, I posted this meme and it was all these pictures of Ashanti like just with her mouth wide open like she is just singing the thing and it dawned on me and I said what song is this from because I can't ima- I can't think of any song that required a- Ashanti to be like sitting there with her mouth wide open and I posted it online and of course, you know, some people laughed, some people interacted, other people dropped songs, but then you had the people. First, hold on, I'm sorry to cut you off, but is this one of the ones where it looked like she was singing and it looked like she was like she was screaming or like she was singing, singing hard? Yeah. And they was like, "What? Yeah, 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 yeah." I've seen those memes. I've seen yeah. those. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but what song though? Uh, exactly. Nobody can, uh, people, good. people said different song, but. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see tell, it, but anyway. Tell me some so I can run it back and, and, and think about it, because I can't think of one. Um, <laughs> neither can I, and that's the funny part about it. So I posted it, and people were, like, sitting there laughing. So, anyway, some people put um, The Way I Love You, maybe. Oh, um, well, they don't... 
Mm-mm. Then somebody said she's singing somebody else's song. <laughs> then somebody said rain on me. <laughs> then, somebody... <laughs> then somebody said dream maker. She hit a note that she may have to do that. Uh, um, and then, uh, then somebody, this is a person, the problematic person. The way that I love you never should have scars only you stop playing in at ashanti face that woman can blow and her catalog is sickening and that pen is even more sick first and foremost let me no she got to pick, pick and write she can write songs don't get me wrong let me educate you young queen first and foremost ashanti is never going to reply in a comment about this book why do y'all do that like is it is it a thing of where you think that they're gonna say, oh, okay, girl, thanks for defending uh, defending me, uh, McDonald's on me? They're gonna send you an Uber to come and hang out. Like, what is it? Why do y'all do that? And then, especially when it be just people clowning or joking or just getting people going, like I have no problems with Ashanti whatsoever. However, the fact that you would tag her in something that says something that's not so great about her just makes me question some of y'all's motives or where your head be at. These celebrities go through enough without y'all tagging them and disparaging posts about them. Um, can I just say this as an artist for, for mm. to, to um, piggyback off all that shit that he tried sure. to <laughs> go on about? Well, the time they don't even really look at it. Uh, she didn't write all those songs. She may have helped, but a lot of those big names people even Beyonce have yeah. something yep. called a songwriter or mm-hmm. songwriters yep. you can google it sir mm. so sickening <laughs> her sickening pen skills belong to somebody else <laughs> <laughs> her okay. sickening what pen skills are plagiarized <laughs> Supposedly the first album she wrote the majority of the song. Supposedly. No, she did not. She wrote on some. Got a, it's she a got difference. A, you can write a line yeah. on a song. A lot yeah. of people don't oh, know. No, no, this. no. I Unless know you that. Are an artist, oh, yeah. You wouldn't know this. You can write yeah. a line on a song and still get writer's credit. Yeah. You yeah. have that to. don't mean you wrote the majority of the song. Exactly. And then um another way for people to, to go look, look at the credits. Whoever's name is exactly. first. Yep. That's the one who wrote the majority of yeah. the song. So if you go down her song list, her name's not first. And a lot of those popular songs that was on the radio, her hits. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Second she thing that up, I'm... She came, out of, she, came out of, she came out with a book, too. Remember she came out with the book? Oh, God. I ain't read it. Do not remind me of that. <laughs> I ain't read it. <laughs> I got through, like, a little bit of it and was like, oh, I'm not doing this. All right. Um, second thing I'm dead for. When y'all do this, okay, this at everyone, at highlights, at followers I hate that. feature, I hate it. I hate that feature because it's given people that don't, like, take a marketing class, people, first and foremost. If you want people to look at your content, do not tag them in every post. Like, I can support your brand. I feel like I should be able to support your brand, but not receive notifications from you every 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. That's just bad business. People are going to That's mute you. Crazy. People are going to delete you. Like I deleted several mofos this week just behind that. No beef. It's just the fact that I'm not going to be tagged every time that you post a picture or a selfie or something you thought that you looked cute in and you at, at highlight. Look at look, look at me, everybody. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Who does that? I absolutely hate that. Last thing I'm dead for, white nerds. If it's not what? bad enough, the white nerd, if it's not bad enough that you go on these video game platforms and they'll call you nigga hard ER, uh, <laughs> if it's if that's not bad enough in itself, now you got these nerds that, so I'm on this, um, I'm on one of these uh, Power Rangers, because I used to be a stand back in the day. I'm on one of these Power Rangers <laughs> groups. Um, one of these Power Rangers um, group yeah. things where they talk about <laughs> all of the different things Power Rangers. Now, <clears throat> on one of the posts, somebody posted a picture of <clears throat> the Yellow Ranger, the second Yellow Ranger that was a black girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They posted it. Now, in the story, 
basically it was written where the one black girl um she went on a quest to find a source of power and she met this other black girl oh. the story went on and long story short the original girl ended up staying in africa to take care of the lions because she had you know veterinary skills or whatever and the other girl came for mm. somebody made a post in this nerd chat talking about oh well mm, they never really showed how she acclimated to the school and to the environment. And I mean, she seemed really intelligent and this, that, and a third. How come that was never part of the storyline, baby? You can be from Africa and, wait for it, be intelligent. You can be. <laughs> you can come from Africa and you can adjust to a social situation that in an environment that you are unfamiliar with and you can still thrive you can still do that african people are just dope they're just like us they don't live in huts they don't have bones through their nose bitch they live like normal people and the fact that you would even insinuate that just shows me even more why i hate white nerds and that is what i'm dead for this week here oh my God. on wrtr real talk radio <laughs> He's a 10, but he's homophobic or shows signs of internalized homophobia. By that gorgeous human being is my mutual. Pronouns are he, him. Go give him a follow. Now, what did y'all hear him say? He's asking women if homophobia is a deal breaker for them when it comes to dating. Very simple concept, right? Now, let me show you how homophobia rots the brain. So you telling me you bash a straight man for not liking what you like? He heard a gay man asking women if they tolerate homophobia and somehow got the message that that gay man is mad at straight men for not also being gay. If Johnny had four damn apples and almost 70,000 people liked his video, which solidifies my belief that a lot of cishet people struggle with logic when it comes to the topic of homophobia. Which makes sense because homophobia is inherently illogical. It's one thing for someone to disagree with a particular relationship because it's predatory, abusive, etc. But it makes no sense to disagree with someone's sexuality. Y'all mad at grown motherfuckers for being attracted to other grown motherfuckers when it's not inherently harmful and poses no threat to society. And the fact that homophobia doesn't make sense is why y'all have to play these mental gymnastics to justify it. I also want to address this statement from the man who would clearly try to stick a square block in a round hole. Just because you decided to flip don't mean that we gotta flip. What the hell did you mean by flip? You think people wake up, flip a switch, and that's how gay people are created? Shit, since we trade in theories, I believe that homophobic men were created after somebody shit in a Petri dish and poured Axe body spray on it. Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. WRTR Real Talk Radio. Yep. And we've added even more options. Just head on over to wrtrradio.transistor.fm for the list of featured apps to include Google Play, Alexa, Apple Podcasts, and of course, iHeartRadio. Uh, how has y'all's week been thus far? My week has been fine. You know, it's what it is. How about y'all? Same Z's. Jacob, you ain't been uh, misbehaving, have you? <laughs> when do I? Uh, when oh, the time! <laughs> <laughs> Act like we don't know you. Okay. Not me. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Nah. Someone. Nah, so far, has been okay. Like I said, yeah. it's on Tuesday. Um, weekend. Of course, you know me. Told y'all to stay booked and busy. I even took some time out there. To come chill with you. So. I know. I appreciate that. Not on my birthday. Whatever. Hey, you mm -hmm. was busy on your birthday. No, nah, I really was. I wasn't doing shit and I wasn't being around nobody. Anyway, um, so somebody reminded me this week about the social setting. So I was on my one of my little rants and bitches when I was talking about um the social setting. And I was kind of like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of hard being in Baltimore in a city that's away from my, you know, my core social circle. And I'm trying to cultivate relationships here in Baltimore. But every time I do, I come across people that 
either want to smash or they want something out of the friendship that's not friendship. Like, I want people that I can go to the movies with. I want people that I can just chill with and, you know, shoot shit with. And like, and it's, it gets harder. And somebody made the point to me that it's harder to do when you are over 40 because when you think about it, people like when they're in their late 30s, they pretty much solidify the relationships and the friendships that they have. And it's less likely that they're going to, you know what I'm saying, like open up to anybody else. So mm -hmm. that was kind of like a harsh reality that I had to kind of learn because I'll tell you, some of y'all, I don't know what it is. Y'all say y'all want to be friends, but then you like sending me booty hole pics and, you know, ashy dicks and stuff. And ah, ah! I don't necessarily understand it, so yeah. Inverted nips. Uh, oh my god! Woo, did you see that picture? <laughs> shout, out to, I came out. shout out to that person. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Some of y'all should be very conscious about the pictures that you post online. Cockeyed <laughs> nipples. How dare you? Cockeyed nipples. Uh, how dare you? Uh. I oh, so I figured we could use the, on the on the tail end of that. I figured we could use this segment to um, say something nice about somebody you don't necessarily like. I'm not gonna do that. Why? Because <laughs> mm -mm. my mom always said, "If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say don't nothing." Don't say nothing at all. But I'm saying it. It's gonna force you to say something nice. And I be a liar. I can say, you know, just hilarious. I can say that, you know, she's, um, <laughs> she's, she's, she's black. I love the fact that she's black. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, you know, she has large eyebrows okay. and eyelashes that are mm -hmm. nice. So there you go. <laughs> I said something nice and I've accomplished what I came here to do this week. And there you go. Yep. Up next, Waffles. Should black gays feel obligated to support the black community despite the hatred and homophobia we face from them? This is a heavy topic, so take everything I say with a grain of salt and remember that these are just my opinions which I am entitled to just as you are entitled to yours. I do not think as a black gay person you are obliged to support the black community or any community where you experience hatred and don't feel safe or protected. As you mentioned, there is intense homophobia that does exist within the black community, but to be fair, not every black person is homophobic. I personally know many black men and women who are wonderful, genuine people. They love and support me and they are overall just good souls. But I will not be delusional. A majority of the black community is still overwhelmingly homophobic. Most, if not all of the homophobia I have ever experienced in my life has been from other black people. So no, I do not feel obligated to show support to any community that will not do the same for me. I simply show love and support to those who show love and support back to me, whether you're black, white, Asian, or whatever. My biggest issue with the black community is the hypocrisy. Many speak out against discrimination and oppression which we do face, but yet they themselves will also perpetuate discrimination to other black people due to their sexuality. So it is a very painful experience being black and queer and receiving this kind of hate from all sides, especially from your own. It is truly unfortunate. Obviously racism and homophobia are two separate issues, however the same backwards mindset of intolerance and discrimination is present within both of these issues follows me should know that I am an advocate for sexual health. I love talking about it, educating about it, because while I want y'all to have fun, I want you to do it safely. And a part of educating about sexual health is obviously talking about sexually transmitted infections. While we always talk about how to prevent these infections as we should, we don't talk as much about what to do if you've already contracted one. So ain't no shame, baby. Let's talk. Now, some STIs are curable. This is STIs like trichomoniasis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis. These infections can typically be cured by antibiotics. And if you suspect that you have one, these are the steps that you should take. The first step is to stop having sex and to go get tested. Do not try to self-diagnose based on symptoms. Once it's confirmed that you have one of these illnesses, your care team will come up with a treatment plan and it is imperative that you follow it. Your health depends on it, friend.
You should also notify your most recent sex partners. It might be an awkward conversation, but it must be had. And you should not resume any sexual activity until you're completely done with your medications. That includes sexual activity that involves your ass, mouth, or phalanges. Next, we're gonna get into the STIs that are incurable. That's HIV, hepatitis, genital warts, herpes. These motherfuckers are clingy, so there is no known treatment that will completely rid them from your system. But that does not mean that you can't have a great quality of life or continued orgasms. Incurable STIs can cause ongoing health problems or worse if left without treatment. But there are medications that can ensure you live a long, healthy life and that you don't transmit them to your partner. So as I always say, stay safe, stay informed, and stay freaky. Bye. Why do you have roaches? The why, the why, 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 why do my children hate me? On WRTR Real Talk Radio. Why do my vagina burn? The truth is out there. Explaining the unexplained. We're answering why to the questions you want to know by taking your tweets at WRTR Radio. We take your emails at wrtrradio at gmail.com and we take your Facebook messages at facebook.com forward slash WRTR Real Talk Radio. My first why comes from me. Why is Tigger Man chewing like a cow in the camera? <laughs> <laughs> because I can. <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually. Uh, my first why, this is messy. So this is the mess that we attract y'all. So Keith, okay, so y'all remember last week when that last why that I did, or it was like one of the whys that I did, and I it was the it was the woman that was arguing with her boyfriend about the shit streaks in his drawers. What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah. remember that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we got this letter in. Keith listened to the last podcast and immediately knew who sent in the email about the draws. So he wants to know <laughs> this is a whole ass dragon. He wants to know why his girl is telling half truths on the internet. Mm -hmm. He says, first off, why she ain't telling y'all the whole truth? Why I gotta work so hard every day that I don't have time to wipe my ass properly? Mm -hmm. Why my girl lose her job for lighting some, uh, for fighting some dumbass hoe, and now I gotta uh, work extra hours where I'm coming, coming home having barely four hours of sleep? Why am I supporting abroad? that would find extra time to type goofy shit into a podcast about my draws, but not into applying uh, to a fucking job. I guess the truth really is out there. Oh. Not his words. Uh, not mine. Uh, Oops. Uh, Oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> I read this and immediately like, lit up. I was hollering. Uh -huh. Woo. Shout out oh. to y'all for being a couple that listens to the show, though. Yay, y'all. Hey. Well. Hey, Keith and woman. Not a, I forgot whose name it was because I deleted my notes from last week. The truth is out there now, I guess. <laughs> the whole it truth. It is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody out on the street, too, because uh, this sounds like some breakup shit. <laughs> Woo. All right. Why? Because the truth is out there, chicken man. Or I, I don't have a why. Okay. okay. What you got, Miss Larry? Necessary. Someone. Okay. The people on Instagram. The people want to know why Sexy Red's mama is the real Sexy Red. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what? I'll tell you this. Because <laughs> apparently sexy, red. sexy Red's mama is beautiful. Oh, really? Mm. I haven't seen her. her daughter at all. Don't get me wrong, Sexy Red is not, she's not the ugly she's girl. She's not ugly. It's she's not. She carry herself. She she carries her no, uh-uh. That's what she, she just doesn't carry herself. She doesn't have she doesn't have the best presentation. I will I will say that. She doesn't have the best presentation. You know, you got booty hole brown lipstick lines. So I mean you're not necessarily making the, you know, the best uh impression for those that may not know you. And may want to get to know a little bit more about you, but I don't know. Look at what her mama look like. Uh, I, I want to see. Uh, hmm, hold on. Yeah, I need to see that Sexy too. Sexy red mom. Mm. Let's see images. Oh wait. 
Never mind. This Google. Oh wait, this Google search turned up something else. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm seeing a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh wait, <laughs> this is this is porn. I can red uh, red red mom. You know what? Teach, oh, red mom teach son right anal sex. Oh, no, I said. Oh no, Google has failed me. Woo. Oh. Yikes. I don't go with the foolishness. No, why? Because the truth is out there. You really don't have a why this week, Tigger Man? Mm-hmm. You're not doing your See, uh uh-uh, uh, you spelled it wrong because it came up immediately after I um. Uh, sexy it. Red. R E D D? Yes. Mom. Sexy, sexy with Red two X's. Mom. Sexy Red on spoiling her mom. Uh huh, then go to images. Um, oh, I do she see got a Saint Louis. Right under. Yeah. Oh no, wait. Photos of sexy Red's mother. Here we go. Oh wow, she is gorgeous. See? Um, wait. He said wait. <laughs> she missing some teeth down. <laughs> no, she ain't missing teeth. She got gold. Oh, right? they're gold. Okay, I see them now. Yeah, yeah. She oh, she got gold some teeth. <laughs> oh no. Teeth, but that's all I seen on my timeline is people Ooh. saying, "Oh no, nah, the mom is the real sexy." <laughs> wow. I was like, "Oh, y'all dead ass wrong." Ooh, I hope her coochie ain't that same complexion. Yikes! That wraps it up for this week's Wi-Fi. Always answering Wi-Fi for you at WRTR Radio on Twitter. Up next. Let's do news to make you nauseous. I know Trump's not a pig. I know he's not a messy person. He had all them documents that were stored in a secure area and it had two Secret Service agents standing at that door. The door was locked. The secure when- area? You mean, you mean, are you talking about the... The room. The, ba- the bathroom that it was in? No, that's bullshit. Oh, no, that's what that's from the indictment. Yeah, that's what they put in there. None of that stuff would have been in the bathroom. That looks like Biden's house. The real government is. That would be Donald John Trump and uh, uh, what is he, I call is, is he in power right now? Yes, Look, he is. He is. I'm sorry. He's getting military. arrested right here, right today. Military. We've been in military control since uh, 2016. You're saying the current president is, is getting arrested today, but he is not really getting arrested today. Yeah, that's correct. With the uh, England, with the Queen of England and her family is what I understand. They could be, uh, we could even go reptilian type people, maybe. And a reptilian, for, for the viewers that don't know, what is a reptilian? Uh, reptilian is like a ship, ship shaper, uh, shape, sh- ship shaper. They, 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 could, they can change their... Uh, uh, well, ship to uh, reptilian to uh, to a uh, human. You can see it in their eyes. You can see the evil. They I can change their ship to a, a reptilian. Well, ship shaped or uh, what? What they are is uh, ship shift 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 Yeah, ship shapers. Yeah, they uh, they change their shape in their ship. They do that. So like a shape shifter. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, any other people out there uh, that we should know that are reptilians? Um, well, you just look in their eyes. American rappers saying inward this and inward that, but a Caucasian can't. So say it. Say what? Say the word you want to say. I'm not saying that I want to say it. I'm just saying that I can't. Sure you can. Say it. Say it right now. <sighs> I will say it with you. Okay, this is hypocritical. You know we can't. Sure you can. This is America. Both of you. Say it. Mm. Mm. All right, I think we can move on. Why? Why move on when you want to say it? Both of you want to say it. Huh? All together, everybody. WRTR Real Talk Radio. Let's go. These are some of the stories you might not read about in the New York Times, the Washington Post, or the Wall Street Journal. It's news to make you nauseous. My name is Marcus Smoot. My name is Miss Lyric Bravado. And this is your boy Tigger Man. And this is <laughs> news to make you nauseous. Ladies first. All right, all right, all right. Run, 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 run. Okay. Say what, Iraq. Say what? Jesus. According to Sky News, the bride, 18-year-old Hanson, and groom, 27-year-old Ravon, 
are dead inside after what was such a lovely event quickly turned to tragedy. In footage from their wedding, the couple were sharing their first dance accompanied by fireworks when the building caught on fire. Oh, what? Sent the entire building into a panic frenzy with everyone trampling over each other to safety. Out of 900 guests, more than 100 people lost their lives and 150 were injured. Revan said that he lost 15 members of his own family in the fire, adding his bride who cannot speak after the loss of 10 of her relatives, including her mother, her dad, and her brother. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Wow. Now everyone in in that surrounding area is blaming the family for what happened, saying that it could have been prevented. And there, there is currently a lawsuit going on against the people who owned the venue. Mm. That, that is, is so up. sad. It is. Ooh, but I don't know. Is that divine intervention? Like, maybe you shouldn't be doing this? Mm. You know? Well, I mean, both of them lost. You know what I'm saying? So True. Oh, no. That's sad. That Very. Why fireworks on the inside? I had a whole ass problem with this. Like, I get you want an extravagant wedding, but why to the point of your own dem- <laughs> demise? Like, exactly. Serious. How do fireworks outside? That's the outside, you know, thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that shit's sad. Alrighty, Chicken Man, you're up. Uh, okay, this is real, real, real short. Mm-hmm. Say what is real. Say what? Okay. Dozens of babies were reportedly found dead, including some that had been beheaded I in read Israel it. on Tuesday after the terrorist organization, I don't know if it's Hamas or Hamas, stormed the community. Mm-hmm. It said the journalist, journalists were let into the Kafar Azar Kibbutz located just outside the Kibbutz. What? Kibbutz. It's Kibbutz. Oh. How you spell that? Kibbutz. K-I-B-B-U-T-Z. Okay. <laughs> Located just out of the Gaza Strip to see the aftermath of the attacks by ha- ha- Hamas. Mm-hmm. At least 70 residents of the Kibbutz were killed by the nice. terrorists. And like I said, and it said, just said that there were um, 40 dead babies found and several of the babies' heads were chopped off. That's mm. fucking crazy. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Children. Okay, so where do, how did we get here? How did we get to a point to where your squabbles as adults then turn uh, like turn into you beheading someone's baby? Babies. Yep. Like literal babies. Why is this a thing? Why is this they are going through it over there. And it said that there's, there's several um, U.S. citizens that are trapped over there, too. Or stuck over there. Mm. Well, they ain't going to be trapped for long. Because guess what? That's one thing America don't play about. Mm. I said, this is crazy. This is crazy. Did y'all, I mean, did y'all see any of it on news about, with the bombs? Uh, I saw this. I've seen things on and off and to be honest I, with you it gives me anxiety so I turn I, off most of it right exactly yep I said this is crazy oh. alright say what San Antonio Texas say what <laughs> one man is behind bars and an investigation is ongoing into the alleged sexual assault of a 12 year old girl basically this 18 year old mm. <sighs> Listen, the victim. Didn't he give her? No, didn't she get? Go ahead. Never mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. All right. So the victim says that she remembers being touched inappropriately by several men, not just him. So he invited the homies over. They got her drugged up, you know, inebriated, and of course took advantage of her. <sighs> Investigators said that the man admitted to filming and taking pictures of the child victim. He also admitted to leaving bite marks on her neck. Now, this is where it gets dicey. Yes. The other two suspects, they were later identified and they came forth and they told the officers that the 18-year-old received an STD from the 12-year-old that he was sleeping with. 
So I thought, well, I thought that that was poetic justice. So I found humor <laughs> in that fact that, the, you know, that was like instant karma, but is, of course, nauseating because you did this to a child. You did this to anybody. Sex without consent equals bad. Can we not get that as a concept? Can we just take that as a, like a thing? Can we, How, not, said, can we normalize not? I'm sorry? How old was this girl? 12. And he was 18. And you have the homies too? So let's take the consent out of there because she's 12. She can't give consent. Well, so what I'm saying is that I'm talking about in general. Can we normalize not having people like inebriated when you're trying to do whatever it is, let alone the pedophilia? Pedophilia goes without saying. We don't even have to normal. Uh, uh. That's crazy. I'm just glad that he got a STD. I'm glad that he got instant karma. Shout out to God because that ain't nothing but God. I can't even say that because where did the girl get an STD from? Like, did somebody else touch her? Did what? Well, I mean, I what the fuck happened? It's a whole lot going on in that young lady's life, and I hope to God that she gets the help that she needs because that, in and of itself, is counseling to go through. Wow. So it said that yeah, shortly after. Yeah, I read the story. Like I gave the abridged version. There with another girl. She she went there with another girl, mm-hmm. and the girl left her there, mm-hmm. and she she said after she started feeling weird or whatever, she told the guy she told the guys that she was twelve years old, and they kept saying, "No, you're not. You're 16. Right now, and I left all of that out because it's like sick, and I don't want people yeah. listening to this podcast. Like, ooh, so what did he? Oh, so I'm like, that sounds sexy because we yeah, got sickos was, to listen that's to. That's crazy. But my thing is, for, <sighs> for them to say that, she, this is what she told the investigators. Mm-hmm. So my thing, did she tell them she was 16? And then after she realized what was about to go on, she told 16, them she was 12? Regardless if she said 12 no, or I'm 16, just saying, I'm just it's saying, still underage. It, it still is considered underage, but I'm just saying, in general. Huh. I don't know. I just... That's crazy. That is crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. I, I personally know the difference between a 12 and a 16 year old, and that's just me. But um, it, Mark, it, it, mm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, don't. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even think all of that matters. What does an 18 year old have in common exactly. with a 16 year old anyway? Even if exactly. she was, well, it don't even matter. If you're 18, you're an adult. Go be with a fucking another adult. Exactly. Why, Why that just be the fuck norm? on a 16 year old or 12 year old or 14 year old. You're fucking disgusting. Yep. Period. Yep. So if you'll do it once, you'll do it again. Sure will. Mm-hmm. Don't change the stripes, man. If you want these and more nauseating news stories, which why would you? Make sure you follow us on Twitter at WRTR Radio. You can also follow me. I'm at M A R C U S S M O O T. That's Marcus Smoot. And my bad, I was eating y'all. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm having y'all eating chips. Mm. Good. Fried dill pickle. Uh, All right. Fried dill. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You can find me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Not only fans though, because we don't right. do that here. Mm-hmm. Same social media name, Claire Provado. All right, and you can find me Tigger Man on Facebook at Tony Tigger Man Nelson, and on, on corner. Uh, uh, anyway, on Instagram <laughs> and Twitter, Tigger Man eighty two, and you can find me on OnlyFans at Figure It Out. Mm. Gross. That figure it out. Why even mention it then? What are you doing? <laughs> Lyric them chips I look sour. Really people to watch though. Mm. Lyric them chips look sour. They are. They're delicious. Oh. oh. All right. So up next on Real Talk, I asked the question simply put: An engagement ends. Who keeps the ring? Ah. Who gave the barbs access to AI? Because what the fuck is this? Drake makes music for men who fantasize about this scenario, even though Jasmine from ninth grade ain't thought about they ass in years. 
And if anybody has whack pussy, it's that BBL having bitch because he fumbled Bria Miles, SZA, and Rihanna. Clearly he got that Canada dry. There needs to be no more discourse about black men dating white women. They crave the attention. Black women teased me 40 years ago, so now I don't date them. Good, you found a solution, King. Where did everyone get the narrative that Jada Pinkett Smith is some evil harlot that makes Will watch her get bent over? They told us back in 2013 that they have a relaxed dynamic. Why y'all still act surprised when the dynamic proves itself to be relaxed? Nature is throwing a constant tantrum. There's active war in several countries and groceries, so how we gotta offer to fuck the cashier? I promise I don't care what the Illuminati is doing. Everybody is clowning Jimmy Butler for this, but it gives me nostalgia. This is exactly how my blowout looked in the sixth grade. Split ends and all. Stop calling tall women giraffes and comparing us to men. Because when I start calling you short motherfuckers pocket bullies, y'all gonna be mad at me. You mean to tell me that two white women who look like they were cut out of Southern Living Magazine have a racist past? <gasps> And then I just want to share with y'all five things that I think you should know. I'm not here to talk about nobody. I love you. I'm just here to state my opinion. And we all are entitled to one. You want to hear it? Because here it go. Coming in at number five. Ladies. That dried up white shit around your edges. Peel it off. I mean, what is that? It's just sitting there. Like dried up school glue. I need it to be removed. Remove it. Or stop drawing that cursive writing and shit on your forehead. Bitch, you ain't Egyptian. Number four. Just because you got braces in your mouth, that does not mean you are not supposed to brush your teeth. Bitch, that ain't electricity. Get that toothpaste and that toothbrush and brush that shit, bitch, okay? And don't forget the flaws. You out here breath smelling like a garbage can. The one from the cafeteria after lunch. Come on now. Throw the scope in there too. Number three, taking a bath is not gay. Fellas, soak. Let that water go in the middle of that creek. Yeah, okay? You don't want your shit to be smelling like a swamp. Yeah, because your drawers are already out here, bitch, okay, looking like the chocolate factory. You know what I'm saying? That's why you don't wear white, but it's okay. It's okay. I understand. Some of y'all dig hard. I understand. But soak, because y'all just jumping in the shower anyway, letting the water run. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't see you, but I heard. Your baby mother, she tell it, bitch, when she getting mad. Yeah, right there at the dinner table in front of the whole fucking family. So to prevent all that, just take you a bath and make sure you put your bubble bath in there. That ain't gay, okay? It's clean, okay? Put your bubble bath, your soap in there. And then after you do that, bitch, okay, yeah, just take you a shower, drench your body real good. And then after that, you scrub that tub out, get that fucking ring out of there. You know what I'm saying? Number two, please put the shea butter on your feet if you're going to wear your crops with no socks. Yeah, because when you don't put shit on your feet, your feet is ashy and crusty. You just walk and leave in the fucking trail like the snowman. And don't put that Vaseline, bitch, okay, because you're going to slip, okay? If the feds coming, bitch, okay, yeah, them shoes coming off, bitch, okay? You going down, bitch, and you under arrest. Don't use the Vaseline, use the shea butter. And number one, all my fellas out there with your jewelry, your big chains and shit, your earrings and all the money and shit, you love your fragrance. You put it here, 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 and here. But you don't put shit underneath your moms. Bitch, I got the dude up the other day. I said, what's up, Holmes? I went in for a hug. That motherfucker almost put me in a 42-day coma. Bitch, okay, thank you, Lord. I'm still here. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Wash your motherfucking arms. Y'all out here, bitch, okay, just smell like a crime scene. You ain't shoot no motherfucking body. You smell like a dead body. Come on, now. I fuck with y'all. I'm looking out for y'all. I'm trying to help y'all, bitch, okay? Yeah, wash the motherfucking arms. You in the studio sweating and shit. Wonder why everybody like, I'm good. I'm going to wrap mine outside the booth. Bitch, because you boofing in the booth. Keeping it 100. It's Real Talk. On WRTR Real Talk Radio. We keep it real. And we're back. And we're black. And I asked the question this week to a lot of the followers at WRTR Real Talk Radio and I asked, I said you and your fiance didn't work out who's keeping the ring? <laughs> did something a little bit more fun this week just to, you know, keep things light Miss Lyric, who's keeping the ring? Whoever fucked up <laughs> don't somebody, get it somebody else yeah. said that it just depends on the situation of the breakup. If it was amicably, sell the ring, split it 50-50. Mm. That's fair. 50. Did 50 we buy it 50-50? She didn't do anything wrong, but you made her a promise and she dedicated these years of her life. Yes, yeah, split that joint 50-50. If you cheated on her, she keeps the ring. If she cheated on you, get that shit back. 
I'll be damned. I've been engaged. Uh, I, I, think, I think she needs to just go ahead and get it. Because she's going to be pissed off anyway. They, you know, what normally happens is they get mad, take the ring off, and throw it at them. No, the fuck like, they don't. Yes, they do. Not nowadays, baby. Because if you spend some bread, I'm going to call that mother. I'm going to get my ching and I'm Mama need a new pair of shoes. I'm like, hold on, how you gonna do that? The ring ain't even paid off yet. Like you owe me some money. Luke and like, you owe me some goddamn money. So oh really? If I'm still, if let's say, if I buy a ring that I, I'm, I'm paying on it. I'm paying on to pay it off, and you gonna take it and pawn it, shit? Sure. Oh, we got a problem. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we got a problem. Mm-mm. We got a problem. Especially if you cheated too. Yeah, right. <laughs> you won't see it. You won't see it. <laughs> so let's see. Off the internet, we got Marlon that said, "Depends on who's at fault." Uh, you got Miss Lori Love that says, "I threw that shit away." <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Oh man! Uh, and then somebody DM'd me, and they said, "They said leave them anonymous." They said, "But what you're supposed to do is, as a young lady, if the engagement works, it's a thing of where you you're supposed to give it back." Child, bye. That's mm-hmm. what she said. She said a young lady, so I guess she's from her perspective. But yeah, I mean. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, I believe Get my that fucking ring. exactly. I believe that you uh, like, and then there are some states you can even sue to get the ring back. But I mean, you know, legal fees and everything. Why would you? But okay, <laughs> that's gonna cost. <laughs> right. I mean, right. They, that's <laughs> just... or, or more than the ring, like child buy. Oh uh, yes. Mm-hmm. So you ain't th- you ain't throwing rings, Miss Larry. Hell no, I'm not throwing nothing. <laughs> you cheated on me. If I invest in it, and it depends on yeah, how, no, how much time I've been with you. If I've spent years and years of my life that I can't get back investing in you and, and, and you promising me a future with you down the line and I find out that you cheated, I'm keeping the ring. What you talking about? That's just the that's just the price the small price that you have to pay. Mm. I can't Mm-mm. get 10 years of my life. No. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. You can't get that coin back. For an engagement. For an engagement. Now that the engagement is all the ring codes back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not yeah, if they, the engagement is all. Now I get that ring to his neck. That's the whole point of the ring. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> I was just joking now if I said it, if both parties felt like that, uh, split it. No. Give the ring back. That's fine. Yeah. But if you cheated, my nigga, and I done spent 10 years oh. with you, and we done been engaged, and we done but they had plans, and I done bought dresses, and I done, we done planned, and this, that, and the third, and I find out you Take the dress back. In that ring. Take the oh, dress you... back. I'm keeping yep. that ring. Take the dress no, back and get your money you back. Can't keep, some give me the stuff ring back so I can go get my money back. You take some the dress back so you get your money. Back. And give me the some ring stuff. so I can go get my money. Some stuff you can't take back. Sure can. <laughs> like herpes. <laughs> Really? If you know anything <laughs> about wedding, some things you can't <laughs> get a, a no ring, re- no refund, a no exactly. refund. Exactly. Like, I'm but, a if they take you, but rightfully, if they take you to court, you have to get the back. They're gonna tell you get the back. Oh, I, I, it won't get to court. I'm mm. definitely getting my ring back mm. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Already been here and done this. Already been there. <laughs> Right. Where my friends and family have paid money uh, to be at motherfucking destination weddings, and you wilding out, and yeah, yeah, I've been there, Lord, not doing it. and I got my Lord. motherfucking ring back to fuck that's, you. That's on the situation, though. Mm. Yeah, okay. Mm. I know one thing. Situationally, you better give me my goddamn ring back. Giving the ring back if this if the person cheated on you. You, you said, said what? I said so. You would give the ring back. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you, fuck the ring. Boom. There you go. Fine. Got go. Carry on. Get away. Fine. Mm. Okay. Well, there you go. And that wraps up this week's show. WRTR. Because I'd be like, obviously it wasn't mine from the get-go. 
Oh, what wasn't yours? Yeah, if, if, first of all, <laughs> it's a gift. Thank you. Exactly, because I was. Uh, uh, the hell you say? So, that is a whole ass gift. A but gift. I, I do what I want to do with it. <laughs> it's <sighs> if you I'm didn't cheat, that. that's so. I don't care if you cheated or not. I'm getting. Yeah. If we are no longer engaged, the ring comes with comes me. Comes back. It's supposed to go back. Yeah, oh, okay. we are a package deal. I'm attached to that <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> ring. Oh God! She said nope. Oh, no. Oh, here y'all go. <laughs> that is too funny. That is All too right. funny. <laughs> so y'all tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend about the podcast. We appreciate the support that yes. you guys have been giving us. We have listenership that has like blown my mind. Well, I mean, from our first rendition and everything, it's less, but you guys are coming through and we truly appreciate the support. So yes, we'll yes, have yes. hopefully even better things coming up in the future as we navigate this thing called life. We international hoe. Uh, oh yeah, it's international hoe. Netherlands, <laughs> Germany, them niggas over there listening to us. So Japan, y'all, <laughs> hearing about the shit show over here. Israel. I didn't put that on there. Uh, that is not on our demographics. I have not read that. <laughs> mm. Didn't read Let that. Me stop. Let me oh, stop. they're chopping off baby heads and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, All right, wrapping it up this week. Anybody got anything else before we get up out of here? Keep hope alive. Be kind and rewind. Mm. Bust it down and don't buy it. forever. Walk hard out forever. <laughs> Just don't buy no booty hole, uh, no booty hole lipstick or anything. Hold on, yeah, that yellow, that yellow, I'm discharged. There I got you one. go. What's that? <laughs> Barter and mind your business. <laughs> there you there go. You go. There you go. All right. Niggas, we out. W-R-T-R, Real Talk Radio.